the accidental realistic injury and cross contamination a silent killer in dentistry the accidental realistic injury and cross contamination a serious concern in modern day dentistry they pose a significant risk to dental professionals and their patients due to limited awareness and recognition the realistic injury are basically silent killers in dentistry as per world health organization approximately about 2 million professionals suffer from realistic injury annually and near about 1.3 million deaths occur annually because of unsafe injection practices the actual number of cases is likely to be higher as 50% of the cases just go unreported the recent scientific research shows that dental professional are at risk of 56% annually to receive needlestick injury the risk of infection followed by needlestick injury is about 1 in 3 for hepatitis b 1 in 30 for hepatitis c and 1 in 300 for hiv the risk of bacterial infections fungal infections and viral infections like blastomycosis cryptococcus diphtheria herpes malaria and mycobacteriosis with syphilis is also significantly very much higher furthermore needle stick injury can also cause psychiatric morbidity like post traumatic stress disorders in about 12% of cases which is significant the single most common cause of needle stick injury among dental professional is basically recapping of dental syringes even individuals who are not in direct contact with patients may experience needle stick injury as they can occur during passing syringes to the co-workers or handling waste with used needles which are not disposed of correctly needle stick injury can affect both personnel and dental professionals it can also restrict the career opportunities due to transmission of blood pathogens to the patients the direct cost of needle stick injury per person has been estimated to be between 7.5000 to 2 lakh rupees and the treatment cost per person is believed to be between 2 lakhs to 70 lakhs rupees cross contamination is a big challenge in dental office The single usage disposable dental syringes has helped a lot to prevent cross contamination in dental office. Busy dental offices face a significant challenge in coordination and organization of sterilization zone as per the accordance of international guidelines and protocols. As such, instrumental disinfection and sterilization is must. Furthermore, misplaced, loose, damaged and dropped needle syringes and dental instruments can cause a heavy risk of contamination and needle stick injury to dental professionals. Now let us understand how to manage a needle stick injury and prevent its fatality in the dental office. As per CDC and AIMS New Delhi, the protocol of needle stick injury is as follows. Step number 1, immediate measure for skin If a skin is broken after needle stick or sharp instrument injury, immediately wash the wound and surrounding skin with water and soap and then rinse. Do not scrub. Do not use antiseptics or skin washes like bleach, chlorine, alcohol and betadine. Do not panic. Do not put prick finger in mouth. Do not squeeze wound to bleed it. Step number 2 is post exposure treatment. Let us understand what is post exposure prophylaxis which is also known as PEP Post exposure prophylaxis is a medicine you take after you come in contact with HIV the virus that causes AIDS to lower your chance of infection you must start PEP within 72 hours that is 3 days after you were exposed to HIV the sooner you start the better it is Post exposure prophylaxis can lower your risk of HIV infection by 80% How does PEP work? The same drugs that treat HIV can fight the virus as it tries to infect you. These medication are called antiretrovirals. Post exposure prophylaxis is a combination of three drugs. You take them once or twice a day for 28 days. For adults, the CDC recommends tenofovir, emtricitabine. These two drugs come in one pill. And a third drug either raltegravir or dolutegravir. women who are in early pregnancy should prefer to take raltegravir rather than dolutegravir because of risk of birth defects children 2 or older 
who need post exposure prophylaxis usually get the same drugs in different doses thank you